floss tube friends it's time for another episode and my hair is well it's may so it's friday in may carpool hair carpool huh carpool hair how is everybody doing welcome to another fun friday floss tube weekly update with me i am annie joyfield stitcher and you've reached my channel about cross stitch and other crafty endeavors and it is friday may the 21st and this is floss tube number 105, I think, to verify that. Yes, floss tube number 105. And since I saw you last Friday, I celebrated my two year floss tube anniversary or floss tube anniversary for short. Um, I filmed my very first floss tube video, my very first YouTube video, um, cross stitch related on May 19th of 2019. So this was my two years, marked my two years on floss tube, chatting about cross stitch, my life, and things of that nature. So welcome to anybody who is new. I hope you hear something, see something you like. Hopefully it will bring you some joy, encourage you to get your stitching out, put some X's in. If you stumbled upon this channel and you have no idea what I'm talking about, go go Google cross stitch. It's a super amazing hobby that I enjoy and so do so many of my other stitchy friends. If you are returning, please pardon my somewhat drippy, annoying no nose. We'll get to that in a minute. Um, thank you so much for joining me for however many videos you've sat through, whether it be since moment one two years ago or you just joined me within the last couple of weeks thank you so much we are two-thirds of the way well more like almost three-fourths of the way through may and which means a lot of people are participating in different may events um pulling out old whips starting new things starts a ton of new things picking things to start based on a theme like there's so many cool things going on in May it seems to kind of be like a really ramped up like month for stitchers for me I do actually have some whips to share with you that I worked on this week works in progress I did finish something and I did start something I had said I was going to have a two-year floss tube start like to mark that day because I did not have a project to work on I like to work on my projects on their birthday and I started 23 new projects last year so I've had quite a number to work on so I have those to show you I have a little bit in the way of plans and I have absolutely zero joy-filled stashy stash I always end with the angel kindness cards but the first thing that I love to do on this channel is we do virtual hugs. This started last spring, early summer, just on a whim. I was in need of a hug. I have great people in my life that hug me on the daily, on the moment practically. And one of them is nine and stands about yay tall. Yay tall now. And is the best hugger. Like you can fight me on that, but she's the best hugger in the world. That is Joyfield Little One. She is my daughter. But I know that through the course of the last 15 months or so, a lot of people have been in predicaments where they can't get their daily dose of hugs. So I've been doing virtual hugs. If it's not your thing, I totally get it. Just hang on for a couple minutes, a couple less than a minute probably, and let's just get our hug on, okay? So we're going to do a hug on each side. We're going to hug ourselves, and we're going to feel good about today. So here we go. Let's get a hug on this side. Mm -hmm. Let's get a hug on this side mm. and then we're going to get a hug mm. to ourselves because you're worth at least three hugs today at least at least those two and the one you gave yourself so a little, little bit little bit of life so yes we are in the end of the year race to the finish line of the school year we started on time so our school year ends this next Thursday for kids, Friday for me. So today was our last Friday with students, which was exciting, but also kind of bittersweet. Um, my last day with my students is Tuesday because that's our last full day. And then we have Wednesday and Thursday or half days with various different events like talent show and 
award ceremonies, which are going to still be on Zoom for parents, because we are still being as safe as we possibly can. And so, yeah, um, this week just whizzed by. I mean, it went so fast. Um, I've had a couple of rough nights rest, so I've been kind of feeling a little tired, not super keen on tons of stitching. Like after I put Joyful Little One to bed, I've kind of been just laying down and watching stuff on my iPad. Typically I'm watching Floss Tube or some other YouTube videos. I've gotten back in to watching some of my organizational people like them on YouTube. There's also a couple of luxury brand um, YouTubes I like to watch. There's also a couple of planner related ones I like to watch. So I kind of have a smattering. So I have two playlists. So pro tip, I don't know if it's a pro tip. It's just my tip. I have two, I have two playlists that are my, they're private playlists to me. And I started with one and I call it stitchy time. And so all of my stitching themed videos get saved onto into that playlist. And I sort them based on oldest to newest. So right now I'm watching through some videos at the beginning of May, end of April, beginning of May. And I just keep adding. Each week I kind of get on and just like add some of my new videos. Well, I realized I was starting to accumulate a lot of videos that were not stitching related. And I was kind of gravitating towards scrolling through and finding some of those from time to time. So I started another private playlist called All the Other Videos. And so I have on that all kinds of other videos that I like to watch. And so again, I sort them from old to new. And so sometimes I'm just scrolling through the homepage on YouTube and I find a video by somebody that I really enjoy, but it's from three years ago. I add that and then it populates to that playlist. So playlist, great function. I have some playlists that I'm terrible about adding videos to, like year two of floss tubes I think has two videos saved to it maybe a few more than that I'm not sure I probably need to go through and add those in so you could if you wanted if you wanted to do that to yourself and sit through and watch all of my year one videos or my year two videos no judgment however I don't think I could sit through that much of me and I've seen some folks who have said that they could sit and binge me I am not Bridgerton, folks. I am not Schitt's Creek. I am not, I am not binge worthy. <laughs> but I appreciate the thought from some of you that I am. So anyway, like I said, this next week is going to be a blur. It's going to be fast paced. I can't believe that my daughter is going to be finished with third grade. I'm kind of like dreading the fact that she's going fourth, not because it's a bad thing, but just she's growing up. This is her last single digit year. I mean, it's just like, and I miss the like little baby that lays just right here and just looks up at me like I'm amazing. I know those days are short lived because teen years. Mama's not cool in the teen, teen years. Anyway, that being said, I thought I would pull out a couple of maybe my previous finishes and or previous fully finished objects to show you to kind of fill a tiny bit more time because I don't have a whole lot to show you. And some of these, if you're fairly new to my um, my world here and have not gone back and looked at older videos, you might not have seen these. So, like I said, some of these are finished. Like they've the stitching is complete. And then I think I have one that is a fully finished or FFO. And that means that it's been made in something into something to display or use or whatever. I have more recent finished objects, but I just am not going to be showing those. So behind me, I do have four of my previously finished objects. So this one right here, I'm going to pull, I don't, I'm not cool like Michelle who has her pointy thing. So I'm just going to use my finger. What's this? This is a temperature um, cross stitch. I think I called it for the whole time I was stitching it, temperature quilt. I stitched this with the 2019 temperature. So let me see if I can get it off the wall without breaking it or not making this too challenging. Okay, of course it's going to be challenging. Okay. So this is a free chart that I found when I was just searching for temperature charts. And it is, this is the pattern that is released. It's by at Hetty, H-E-T-T-I, Ruckert. 
Um, and she, I found her on Instagram and it linked to her blog. It is in a, I think it's in Dutch, um, but you can Google translate it using Chrome. And so I stitched this for the year 2019 and in the corners, you can see two, zero, one, nine. It's also got the alphabet. I did a couple of tweaks on things. Um, like these three days right here towards the very end of the year, I was in New York City that year. And so I stitched N, Y, and C right here to indicate those were three days that were not temperatures from Fort Worth. And so it starts here in January and works its way out. I love how this turned out. I stitched it on an 18 count opalescent white Ada with uh, a DMC color chart for temperature that I found that I thought was going to be great. I think I hit every temperature except the lowest of the low and the highest of the high, but I hit every other single one. Now, if I had stitched this with 2021's numbers so far, I would have actually hit the lowest um, because we had that one week where it was like frigid, frigidly frigid. So anyway, I just love this and I finished it in a white frame. I believe I got this at Michael's and I just, I think I even did like not sticky board, but I used finishing tape. All right, so also behind me, this one right here is my own chart. This is, I know the plans I have for you, which is Jeremiah 2911. I stitched it on some 14 count minty colored Ada with some Mrs. Sados silk in her colorway popcorn. This is in my Etsy shop. If you're interested, it's joy filled stitches. This other one right here I showed, I think last week, but this is my Hello Beautiful. Um, that's my chart as well. And then above it is my Lizzie Kate's, my to-do list, uh, my to-do list, I think is what it's called. And I color converted the whole thing and it's on a color and cotton 16 count. And I believe like sea breeze is maybe the color. And that's everything that's on the wall. That's mine. Yeah. Up above it is needle minders. This is like a really old cross stitch ornament from 1982 that I have no idea who made this right here for me but I found it in my Christmas ornament. And so I'm like, mm, yeah, it's gonna come in here. And this is a beautiful teeny tiny Biscornu from one of my stitchy friends that sent it to me. Okay, so now some other previous finishes. Uh -huh. I gotta get moving. Um, okay, so this is Quilting Bee. This is by The Blue Flower. I stitched it on 16 count Ada and I finished it, I think some point in the fall. And I stitched it with the called for colors. The only thing I did not do was put in the bit too big motifs here. I really wanted the bee to be the the centerpiece. I have not fully finished it and I'm really not sure how I want to fully finish it. So there it sits. Actually, I have a drawer in my craft room slash office that has all of my finishes in it. This is one that I'm kind of known for. It was on my Christmas card this year. <laughs> this is my Prairie Schooler Christmas tree farm and I made my own conversion. So every house is a different color. Traditionally, this chart has, I think, two colors of green, a red, a white, and like 3371, and that's it. And so I pulled in bright colors, variegated colors, hand dyed. So the greens, I think I had like six greens that are all hand dyed, so they variegate in the different trees. So it just really made it super whimsical. Of course, Santa is still in a red. There's a red truck. I love this blue car. There's the animals. I just, I adore this. And I love how it turned out. It really did turn out exactly how I wanted it to. And so um, this is on a 16 count. I think it's a hand dyed by Stephanie. But I don't know that for a fact. You know, I used to know all these because I said it every time I showed them. All right, this is on a mystery color and cotton. This is Blackbird Designs. Um, this is the birthday stocking that's in the little booklet that's called By the Chimney with Care. And so I stitched this for my daughter. She was born in 2012. I need to finish this. So I just need to take care of it. I did a color and cotton conversion on this. And then this one is one I stitched and finished in 2018 before I even filmed floss tube videos, before I had any real idea that it was. Honestly, this was one of the pieces that brought me back into my cross stitch from back. I started stitching in 1996 and stitched for quite a, a number of years and then stopped for a while, started back up, stopped again, and then hit it really hard in 2018. It really helped me find my joy after my grandmother's passing. Well, this was a chart my mother and I had found 
way back in like maybe the 2000s when we went to the cross stitch shop that's local to us and it's a Lottie Daw. It's Lottie Daw's Noah's Ark or I think it's just called The Ark and I stitched it on what appears to be a very open but still rather stiff 28 count linen and um I mean it's very open but it's literally got two colors so it's got the dark like black and then a few places with like a darker taupe color. So I finished that. I need to fully finish this for her. I'm going to probably just frame it. Um, so I need to get on that for summer. And the very last thing, this is spring acorns and this is by the blue flower also on 16 count heartland. And the one thing that is different about this is I did not do the, the four corner motifs. I really wanted these squirrels to be like the focus on the outside and I just love everything and I stitched it in the call four colors and I just finished it on this like wooden block I used some cotton lace trim it's actually kind of sliding all around I don't know why but anyway actually it goes this way so yeah and then it's got some like rifle paper company fabric wrapped around it so those are some of my previous finishes so yay now let's talk about what I stitched this week and or finished so I finished this this week. This is Lizzie Cage Cherish All Living Things. It had a birthday last week and I finished it on its birthday. So this is it finished. This is on a 18 count Ada. I think it's just a mystery piece that I have and I love how it turned out. So Cherish All Living Things and I stitched it in predominantly the called for colors. So yay. I do not know if this is currently available but um I would say that if it is, it's either in the primary market or the regular market would be on one, two, three stitch. If it's not, then it would be on like stash unloading side or something like that. Now I worked on this piece. Um, I had showed this last week as a new start, I believe, or I had worked on it. And I had said my goal was to get the house finished. This is Tom's Foolery by Hands Across the Sea Samplers. I am hosting a sal called uh, hashtag tomfoolery sal, S-A-L is stitch along or start along. Um, so if you are stitching this, please go share your progress. And I have this on 18 count Swiss coffee and I finished the house, yay! And it's, it's not crooked, my fabric is crooked in my hoop. And so I finished it, I love it. This is 950, but I love how when it's next to the chartreuse green that it almost looks more pink. I It's just so cool. I'm calling this, you know, lovingly the circus of samplers. And I think it's incredible, incredible. It might be one of my most favorite I've been working on lately. All right, I showed this last week and I did put some more time into it. So I thought I'd show it again. This is Christmas tree, which is by Barbara Anna Designs. This is the little card that comes with the kit. Uh, the kit is through Nitka Moscow. You can find her on Instagram, Nitka Moscow. And I don't know if this is in stock right now, but she does frequently restock. I'm actually waiting on a kit that I ordered the day it was released and it has not moved from its point of origin. And that is the Four Seasons Girl. It will come eventually. I'm not in any hurry, but it just makes me sad when it's like, I don't know where it is. Ooh. Anyway long story short I'm stitching it with the kit fabric and the kit floss the kit fabric is a 25 count eight 25 count Lugana I do not know the color and it is stitched with the DMC that came with it and so I put some more time specifically I did this is one of the Matroshka dolls I think that's how you say it so I stitched the red here some red here in these ornaments and the red down in the presents and I also think I put in I don't remember if this dark color was here for the hat and stuff. I can't really remember. Or I really can't remember if this top part of the tree was there either. I'm not sure what was here last time. So, anywho, I love this. Um, it's going to be a longer term project and that's okay. I don't know. One thing I don't know is all surrounding this tree are white snowflakes. I can almost guarantee you I will not stitch those. I don't like stitching wide enough for that. All right, so this project had a birthday. So I worked on it. And this is Blessed is the Life by Little House Needleworks. And I'm doing a complete color conversion on this. It's on an 18 count Ada from Oxana. You can find her on Stash Unload. 
and I basically was working on, I've been working on this half. So what I did was I filled in the door, the two little chimney stacks. I did the sunflowers here and over here. I did finish the bird and the birdhouse and I did the words on this half of the page. So this is for the most part finished. It does have a vining detail, but I don't know that I'm actually going to stitch that, but it does have another checkerboard pattern. I do think I will stitch the checkerboard pattern. So I may just go ahead and do the checkerboard pattern under the words and call this half finished. Um, I don't know that it will come back out this month, but um, it's a fun one to pull out. It's a little house needleworks. It's super fun, easy stitch. I've really enjoyed it. Next up is Blackbird Designs. This also had a birthday and it is the Garden Club series. This one actually is also a Whipgo piece. So is Christmas Tree. Christmas Tree, I think, comes back out towards the end of the month. This, I think, comes back out at the end of the month. And so I am stitching four of these, Basket of Cherries, Apple Orchard, Butterfly Garden, and Fairy Garden. I actually finished Basket of Cherries. This is on 18 count Ada in Colonnade, I believe, is what how it's pronounced from Color and Cotton, with um, either the called for over dyed flosses or close. So that is finished. It has some specialty stitches here and there. I think I'm going to move over here because I am doing the four together and go ahead and start Apple Orchard the next time this comes out, which might be as early as the 24th, so Monday. All right, this project had a birthday also, and this is Noah's Ark Mantle. So this was a chart that came from Bent Creek as a three-part chart. So part one had all of the materials, part two came next, and then part three. I purchased this off of Stash Unload, and the picture was this large one, which was the first one. I thought I was only getting the first one. I ended up getting all three charts which is fantastic because I, I wasn't looking forward to having to track down the rest. So I am I started over here and have been working my way this way. Um, it is still on the hoop because I would like to put some more time into it this weekend. And so we've got the monkeys. I stitched the bird. I stitched the word faith. And then before I put this away I would like to stitch the other alligator and there's some leaves in that color up it's this darker color up in the tree. And then I will see what else I get done, but I would love to put some more time into this. Obviously, that's why it's still on the hoop. Sometimes it's just still on the hoop because I haven't taken it off the hoop. True story. Truest of true story. Now, last week I asked you to pick a new start for me. So I gave you three choices and I said use the word in your comment. So on was it Tuesday or Wednesday? Whatever day it was, I went and did random YouTube comment picker. And so I went through and it'll tell you how many comments you have with that word. And they were super close. I will say the one I picked was not the one with the highest count, but it was close. And the reason why I ended up picking this one is that so many of you commented that there was so much meaning behind it to me and the way that I described it, that it should be the one that I start. I obviously will start the other two at some point um, because I would not. I love them. I want to start them at some point. But this one I really was excited to start. And I have already got quite quite a bit of progress for me for a fairly new start that I've only sat and stitched on twice. And so, and ultimately, I kind of showed Joyfield Little One the three, and she picked this one. So, of course, I had to pick it. So, I ended up starting Libra by Satsuma Street. It's on 18 Count Ada in navy. I decided to go navy instead of black. And I've already gotten quite a start on the scales. So this was a center start, and I've done this part of the scales, and I've started in on it. So I'm excited. I might pull this out for a little bit more time tonight. We'll see. All right, so I have a few other projects on the docket for um, my May. I'm calling it Hybrid Monogamy because I worked, I've kind of worked on projects for a lengthy, but the hybrid is... I'm pulling back out ones I'd started previously. Well, today I do need to work on this project because it's his birthday. Happy birthday to you. Love builds a happy home. This is by Tiny Modernist and it was a market release in 2020. And I started it on some 28 count white Monaco. 
and I have a bit of a start on the birdhouse. I love this. So bright. I chose to go with just the called for DMC because it is so bright. It is so fun. So this is going to come out um, tonight. And then I have a new start for the 24th because it's my husband's birthday. And I shared this last week, but I am going to show it again. I'm going to start one fourth. Well, it says one four three, but it's I love you. And that's one four three is the letters and I love you. And it has the key and the heart. And it's just going to be hopefully a quick stitch because I would like to be able to give this to him on our 10th anniversary, which is on June 11th. So we shall see. Um, I think I have time to show the last two projects that were starts last year that I'm going to spend some time on. The first of which is my Barbara Anna Gigantic big old project which is all creatures great and small and I will show you that it is on a swath of 18 count Ada and that is what I have so far so I'm working on filling in that hill um, and going around all the different little animals and various other little things and the reason why I say I think I have time is I decided since my last couple of videos have been short I've been filming them in YouTube, so it just goes straight to uploading. The problem is they kind of cut you off at about 30 minutes or thereabouts. And then the other one is was a freebie chart from Market 2020. And this is all exceedingly grateful by Heartstring Samplery. I'm stitching this on a beautiful piece of linen from Seraphim, I think. I think it's in the color Cecil. And I am doing it in some pretty colors. So, um, yeah. So I'm going to have to tax my eyes at some point with some linen coming up. So, yeah, that's what, sh what I have on the docket in terms of stitching this weekend and early into next week. After the 23rd, I think that's when Exceedingly Grateful's birthday is, I'm going back to stitching on Garden Club through the end of the month with some other projects smattered in. Like I may pull up Tom Foolery back out, Libra back out, so some other things back out. All right, so I close this, this little fun time together every week with Angel Kindness cards. I think I only have four left, including this one. So we're gonna have to figure out if I'm gonna continue on and just start all over or come up with something else to share or nothing to share. I don't know, we'll see. Anywho. Um, I love these. So I think this one's beautiful. Um, I love the blue, like washed background. It's just so pretty. And this sentiment may not speak to you this week and that is okay, but I love showcasing Teresa's art and I would not skip over this one because it actually means something to me. Um, but if it doesn't mean anything to you, that's totally cool. I get that. Um, to each their own. The sentiment on the back says you stand the tallest when you're on your knees in prayer. And I'm in agreement with that. That may not be something that you agree with, but I, I love that. I love to think that I am at my best when I am in prayer. Um, so yeah, I wish I had more to share, share with you, but I have shared quite a bit in this half hour. I've shared what I worked on, what I have coming up, even some previous finishes that you might not have seen. Um, this weekend, we're probably due for some more rain. We've kind of had off and on just soggy weather. So it would be nice to get out and do some stuff, but we're kind of in this yucky phase where the rain brings the mosquitoes, which eat my child and eat me, and that's not fun. So yeah, we are going to have a dinner for my husband here at the house uh, some of his favorite things on Sunday because he works and his birthday's on a Tuesday this year no his birthday's on a Monday this year when is his birthday no his birthday's on Tuesday what am I talking about Ooh. and um so yeah and we've gotten him some cool stuff I got him a backpack that's a backpack on top and a lunchbox on the bottom which I'm really super pumped to see if he likes it. It's by Carthart. He loves Carthart stuff. And then got him all the Reese's things because he loves all the Reese's things and some new bath towels, which I think he will appreciate because they are fast absorbing bath towels. That's when you know you've been married as you buy your husband bath towels for his birthday. Last year, he got sh he, we got sheets. 
Anywho, I hope you have a wonderful week ahead. I will sign off as usual with so long, stitch well. I'll see you soon, my friends. Goodbye. Goodbye, and I'll see you next Friday for end of May video and the last full day of work for me. Bye, friends. Love you.